Raw stock. Op one. Op two. What's up guys, it's Eric Squared from Varus Engineering and today we're going to be going over some of the machining on our high efficiency rear wing for the FRS BRZ. Eric, what do we have here? So in front of us here we've got our vacuum chuck, which that's this big piece down at the bottom here. Um, Eric number one here, he made this sweet little <laughs> oops, sorry, you can bleep that, <laughs> 3D printed, uh, 3D printed Exhaust. Exhaust director thing because I did a poor job of designing the idea with the exhaust and that. Anyway, yeah, so it's a combo effort. I got uh, my vacuum chuck here, which you can't really see the how it works underneath, but this alone took quite a bit of time to design, figure out. Um, what we wanted to do was be able to make full use of the five axis uh, machine capabilities while using vacuum because some of the uprights that we make. Uh, especially for the Porsches, they have this very curvy geometry that could really make use of the five axis machining, but it's very thin parts as well, which are better suited for vacuum work holding. Um, and basically on top here, this top 10 millimeter piece, this is our uh, interchangeable, basically vacuum fixture. Um, so the truck stays on here for pretty much any vacuum application. And then we have these uh, removable fixtures that are specific to whatever program that we're using. Um, so yeah, as you can see right here, this is Op 1 is complete on the, uh, what is it called again? High efficiency. High efficiency uprights. wing uprights, yes. So uh, basically this is a hybrid type fixture. We've got two fasteners here. we got some mechanical work holding going on to give us a, a little extra holding power. So we're able to rough quickly. Um, while still getting the benefits of all the, the force that's being applied from the atmosphere when you're using vacuum work holding. Um, so, and then as you can see here, the parts are pretty nested in here in a way that uh, my O-rings are just all the way to the extent pretty much of, and you can see I've got the part hanging off here a little bit. When this flips over onto this side, we've got it hanging off here as well. So it's, it's pretty tightly packed together. So this is the blank which we are putting in and getting half of the, the parts out. Um, so this goes in on the left side here, right? It cuts it into that. And then basically this will get flipped over and you can see the O-ring grooves here. And the vacuum basically pulls the air out through these holes. So that way all inside this O-ring region, um, it's just basically pulling all the air out so that way the atmospheric pressure can push down on the part against the plate here. Now, we've got some locating pins here, and basically that just helps um, deal with the, the forces going in the XY plane. And, uh, and locating it for second off. Yeah, exactly, for locating it, because you can't just like throw the part on and hope, it hope that it's like in the right spot. So this, this particular machine, um, it has more travel in the X direction uh, negative, uh, on the negative side of this, the B center line. So when I'm cutting all the stuff over here, I have no problems with over travel. However, on this side, as I get over like to the, to the extents of the part, certain tools I will have uh, over travel problems because the machine literally cannot bring the center of the tool out this far. So it is nice to have C, basically I just have it rotate 180 degrees, which brings these parts over here. And then that way I have all the travel that I need to cut the remaining features. But something else to think about is that this actual plate, this tooling plate to hold our, our work pieces is actually a one-off basically machine part that he has to program and, and then build and then we can actually produce viable products from that. And then um, because we ended up figuring out that the parts on OP1 didn't necessarily like to stay in their spot, we ruined two tools and then we had to add the mechanical work holding at a second um, second later stage and that's that's part that's part of like proving out the program and, and stuff that a lot of people probably don't think about and know um, but once we have a proven process that we're happy with then it's okay. just run time then it's just running yeah yeah so just a lot of things that people possibly don't know about three to four full days of work to get to this point um, and then we can actually then it's like hitting print I guess it's not just like you design the part hit print and it's good to go it's a it's a lot of upfront work and then yeah. and then we uh, 
and then it's like hit go, which is awesome. Yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short little video on our high efficiency upright design and machining in-house 5-axis UMT 750 SS. Go America. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is Eric Squared, signing out from Bears.